Folk art is about one's passion. Uh, it, it, it's from way deep inside one's heart. It is, uh, above all, in all forms of folk art, it's self-taught. My name is Scott McQueen, and I'm an Alabama folk artist. As a folk artist, you draw on those um, emotions, you draw on that culture. So most of my art has a, a southern Alabama country kind of appeal. Corn and cotton fields and pigs and cows and <laughs> chickens and such, you know, that's, that, that's kind of, that's in, that's in my wheelhouse. Now a catfish is what I'm kind of known for. I was in Starkville, Mississippi, at what they call the Cotton District Art Show. And there's this little girl that comes in and the little girl fixates on a fish that I had, had painted. Here's this little girl's looking at it. And so I just finally leaned down and I asked her, I said, little girl, you like that fish? And she turned to me and put her hands on her hips and she says, no, I do not. Just like that. <laughs> If you paint a kitty cat's head on it, then you could call it a catfish. And she just spun right around, told her mom, she said, let's go. This light bulb in my head came on, and I have painted, my gosh, a lot of catfish since then. Y'all feel free to look around. Everything in here is repurposed. When I'm creating art, there's a part of me that's in that art. Again, folk art has to do with passion and it comes from deep inside the heart and the spirit. So it's my memories, it's my, it's my growing up, it's my, you know, it's my life. Art can be something beautiful even though it's been broken. And so I intentionally find what has been discarded. All of this stuff that you're seeing probably should have ended up in the landfill but now it's gonna end up on somebody's wall and it's gonna be colorful and it's repurposed and it's renewed to help these new owners of this art to take with them that same idea that, you know, you're valuable too.